This is it, the world's first and only 2025 Winnebago View T, featuring all the incredible and patent pending features you've heard about. Unlike other videos on the T, we've been living full time in it for almost two months. So today you'll not only get a top to bottom tour, but you'll also see exactly how we've been living in it and using the RV, including the game changing gear garage. A quick reminder, this is a pilot vehicle, meaning it is a pre-production coach. So some of the features, finishes, and the equipment might change before production begins. To help you, this video is divided into chapters, which are in the description and also on the screen. But we're gonna start with the exterior and the chassis. Like many motorhomes, our 2025 Winnebago View 24T is actually built on a 2023 Mercedes-Benz chassis, and it features the brand new engine. Under the hood is the brand new two liter high output dual turbo diesel four cylinder engine, which is paired with a nine speed automatic transmission, a 250 amp alternator and 170 inch wheelbase. So the tires will still allow you to fit into a regular parking space with the rear end hanging out. This new engine has 208 horsepower and 332 foot pounds of torque. That's actually 20 more horsepower and seven more foot pounds of torque meaning this has better acceleration and should perform better in towing. And in our experience, it's been great with both. They've also virtually eliminated the turbo lag. With the older six cylinder engine, when you would hit the accelerator, you would feel this delay before the turbo would kick in and then it felt like a race car. No more, now it's a very linear and very predictable acceleration. All 24Ts also come standard with a second dedicated alternator to charge your batteries, which are lithium, and we'll get to those later. This 24T comes with a standard rear wheel drive, but starting in 2025, View Navions will be able to have an all wheel drive option. The 24T is 25 and a half feet long, 11 feet tall, and seven and a half feet wide, which is identical to all prior years of View Navions. There's frequently a lot of confusion about the differences between a Winnebago View and a Winnebago Navion. And the answer is they're actually the same. Depending on what dealership you visit, you might see interchangeably Views and Navions for a 24T, a 24D, or any of the other floor plans. But just keep in mind, they are exactly the same. The new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis features four-wheel ABS brakes, new LED high-performance headlamps, adaptive ESP technology, stylized Alcoa aluminum wheels, a spare tire carrier, and hydraulic leveling jacks with automatic controls in the front and rear. Winnebago adds custom running boards which feature clip-on areas for dog leashes and also quickie steps, so they are fully powered steps going into the coach. Starting from the coach door, there is a coax connection for a TV if you wanted to hook your TV up here on the patio. There's also two 110 AC outlets. And beneath them is our first storage compartment. And notice that the doors slide to the side instead of swinging open. This first compartment is rotocast, so it's less likely to leak. And this is also the compartment that contains your inverter, solar charge controller, and also your main breaker. This little compartment is actually quite deep and we put a lot of our patio stuff in here. So we've got like, for example, our little patio lights. We've got things for the mosquitoes, uh, things for the fire pit, all conveniently right next to the door. Continuing down the RV is the exterior for our Dometic forced air furnace. And then underneath that is a quick connect for propane. So this is great if you have like an exterior grill or one of those little fire pits. As RVers, we love spending time outside, which is why it's great to have a 16-foot powered armless awning from Carefree. This provides plenty of shade and cover from rain for things like grilling or just hanging out. The awning also features lighting, which can be used both when it is retracted or extended, which is perfect for illumination at night. And speaking of grilling, we're gonna show you where we store it. This is the massive gear garage here in the 24T, one of my favorite parts. And again, the doors open up to the side and you have so much storage space in here. It's 48 inches high by 28.5 inches wide, which as we have proven before, is large enough to fit a Caitlin. <laughs> The gear garage is insulated and heated. It also has DC and AC power, and it has a rugged floor, making it super easy to clean out. And there are three access doors here to the gear garage, so you can get in and get all of your gear out. This also has an L-Track system, and if this is the RV that Howard and I end up moving into long-term, we will definitely configure this space a bit differently because we were only moving in it for a short period of time. We're using it for like our bulky stuff right now, like we've got our Starlink in here. And the L-Track system will allow you to secure larger items like bikes or kayaks or whatever you wanna take out on your RV journey. So this really is a great flexible space. 
The Gear Garage also has an external access port to bring cables in, as well as a port for any external solar, and you also have input connections for a satellite dish and your cable. For a luxury coach, having a Gear Garage like this is a game changer for the Navion View lineup, and it's one of our favorite features of the 24T. For towing, the 24T has a 7-pin power connection, as well as a 2-inch receiver with a rated capacity of 5,000 pounds and 500 pounds of tongue weight. Another great feature is the more easily accessible, higher wet bay that's behind this insulated door. So inside you have all your normal controls like your black tank, your gray tank, uh, external shower, fresh water fill valve, winterization valves, and your water pump. There are more winterization valves inside of the gear garage, which speaking of that is also where your low point drains are. The 24T has the capability to operate the water system well below freezing. Underneath the wet bay is your freshwater inlet and your black tank flush. They're right next to each other. Do not confuse the two. Above the gear garage is the exterior of the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus, which is a mouthful, but is a lifesaver because this is actually a system that allows it to recirculate and heat water at 50,000 BTU in order to provide instant hot water as soon as you turn on any of the faucets. To avoid the risk of kick out or short circuiting, the 24T has a 30 amp positive locking electric connection. And at the bottom is the traditional sewer connection and next to it is a built-in sewer hose storage. On the slide is this very large storage compartment, which is very tall. And our friends, James and Steph of the Fit RV, actually proved that a human adult can fit inside this. You might want to check out their video. Of course, if we end up picking the 24T as our future home on wheels, we will definitely reconfigure this. But for right now, we're using this to store things like dog food, laundry detergent, shoes, bleach, just kind of some random knickknacks. Uh, but this is a great compartment, particularly because of its height. And above the storage compartment is the exterior of the range top vent, which we'll talk about when we get inside in the kitchen. All View Navions feature a slide topper to keep your slide clean and dry. Welcome underneath the slide. Continuing on the driver's side, this first compartment has your propane tank, as well as the mechanisms for your hydraulic lifts. This is also the compartment where you refill your propane. And the last compartment on your driver's side is your propane generator. A very popular question on sprinters is, where is the diesel tank? And the answer is, it's behind this little compartment door right here, but you have to open the driver's door first. Then you flip this open, and there it is. Additionally, the new engine is capable of running on B20, or the higher biodiesel diesel. All right, let's check out the inside. Come on in. We love how unique the layout is of the 24T. And for full-time travel with three dogs, floor space is a must for us. And this has plenty of it. We're gonna go over every inch of this RV for you. All right, we're gonna start in one of the most controversial areas of the T, and that is the dinette area, but it's not a dinette at all. This is a great flex space in our opinion. I use this area mainly to work from during the day, and then we also eat our meals here, but at night, the entire thing can fold down and give you all of this floor space back. A lot of you had questions about how to store these folding chairs right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and unstrap them and set everything up just to show you. So these go flush against the wall. They actually like fit together, and there are two straps right here. So all you do is undo the straps, and then you just pick it up, and it folds out. Two chairs. All right, and then the table is really easy. It literally just lifts up and locks into place. And these straps do come off. You can unhook them. So if you're set up longer and you don't want them dangling down and in your way, you can just take them off. And from a decor standpoint, I really like this little ledge here because you can put things out. Like I have one of my favorite flower vases right here, which is a cactus that I got along our travels. And I just leave this here in place during our travel days. And that's because I have like this putty that just sticks onto it and it doesn't move at all. Same thing with this little basket down here. This is kind of like our catch all for sunglasses and any keys or things like that. That is stuck on as well. So it will not move on travel days. And then when you're done eating or you're done working for the day, you just fold everything back up. So table goes down, chairs collapse. and then you get all of that living space back. And there's plenty of power in this area on both sides of the table. You have AC power as well as DC right here, and then you also have USB-A and USB-C, which is quick charge. We've got two storage cabinets on both sides of the table right here. And again, this is another area where I think, you know, if we choose this RV long-term, we're gonna put some sort of shelving in here, but it's several inches deep and very tall. Right now we have camera equipment and gear in there. 
We have a nice big window here that lets in plenty of light. You've got your MCD shades that come down. It's full blackout at night. And then up here you have your like entertainment system. So we have a 32 inch smart TV as well as a JBL sound bar. To the right of the TV in this storage cabinet, you have a Sony Blu-ray player. This is also where you have some of your main controls, like for the slide and for your Murphy bed. And then you have more power up here. So we've got more 110 power, as well as USB-A and USB-C quick charge. And you have the roof access port, as well as cable hookup. And the roof access port is great for expandability. Anything that you want to add onto the roof that requires extra cabling. That could be things like a cell booster or Starlink. And all the upper cabinets in this coach are illuminated, which is really nice when you're trying to find things. And the cabinet to the left of the TV is a bit bigger than the one on the right. It's pretty deep and it goes behind the TV. So we use this right now for more electronics and office supplies. And this nifty display is Winnebago Connect. Now we'll have an entire video probably dedicated just to Winnebago Connect because this thing is awesome and does so many things. But at a very high level, think of it as like smart lighting, ability to control your thermostat, ability to control uh, everything, including unlocking your doors. So you have keyless entry now to your coach, thanks to the Winnebago Connect system. It also has the ability to provide you with internet connection when you're on the road through a separate subscription. It provides you with meaningful notifications, not only on this display, but also through the mobile app. So in this case, you can see our fresh water tank is full. If I hit dismiss, it now tells me the next notification, which is that the gray water tank is filling up. As you can see down at the bottom, it's no longer about third, two thirds or a quarter, half, and then full. Instead, what you're given is percentages and gallons. So no guessing. And what I like about the notifications as well is this gray water notification. I'm one of those people who ends up checking this display constantly in our current Navion because I'm always worried that we're gonna be overflowing something. This will give me proactive notifications to tell me that it is getting to the point where it's filling up. That to me is a game changer. And because this is software based, they can continue to provide updates, new features and enhancements over the air, meaning you do not have to visit a dealer in order to get these new capabilities. All right, let's jump into the bathroom because it really is one of my favorite rooms here in the 24T. I've already told Howard it's gonna be hard to go back to a smaller bathroom since I've had this palace. All right, starting clockwise, there is a porcelain toilet and then we have two hooks on the back of the door here, which is great because you don't have to mount your own. It's already ready to go. So I like my hair dryer, and my bathrobes and things hanging there. There's so much storage in this bathroom, starting with this big medicine cabinet above the toilet. It's got three levels of adjustable shelving and I have all kinds of stuff in here from like lotion, hairspray, bug spray and all kinds of like daily medicines. In addition to having controls on Winnebago Connect for your hot water system, there's also a Truma interface here in the bathroom. And there is a water pump control switch located at every faucet. There's a nice size sink, more storage underneath. It is a couple inches deep and goes pretty far to the left. And this is also where you have your toilet paper. <laughs> And now it's time for the showstopper, which is the massive wardrobe that runs the entire width of the RV. So on this side over here, you have two shelves, again, with an adjustable height shelf right there. And then you have two drawers that you can pull out that have soft clothes. And on this side of the wardrobe, even more space. This is where you can put all of your hanging clothes and it runs all the way back behind the shower too. We've got this hanging organizer, which has multiple levels and slots for shoes on the outside. So it keeps everything nice and organized. And then all the way in the back, there are two levels of shelving. And continuing our clockwise circle, that brings us to the shower. And this is a big shower with a seat, but right now Scout is sleeping there because this is where she sleeps at night. It's a perfect Scout size. All right, Scout, can you get up? Thank you. Underneath Scout's bed, we also have our collapsible laundry basket here, and then our other laundry basket here. And this is a very large shower. It is six foot four to the ceiling and six foot seven to the skylight. It has a removable handheld shower head. We swapped it out for our Oxygenix shower head, which just has much more spray capabilities. And the best part is it has a seat here. We've also added a soap holder and our own basket, as well as towel holders here in the shower. There's also this removable hanging rod, which pops in right here and you can hang different towels or other things you need to try. This also has the Nautilus shower door, which self squeegees the water from the door. So you don't have to worry about that either. There's also a great size mirror as well as a second ventilation fan here in the bathroom. 
A lot of you specifically asked about the counter space in this kitchen. So we measured our 24D, which is known for having one of the largest kitchens of any Class C RV, and it's actually pretty close in size. In fact, the depth of this is identical to the 24D. And when you lift up this countertop extension, and take the length of this and combine it with the other section of countertop space, you're actually only six inches shorter than the 24D. So it's very comparable. It's just a little bit misleading because this is in an L-shaped configuration. And living in this RV for almost two months now, we've cooked a lot of meals in here and it is plenty of counter space to get everything done, prepped, cooked, cleaned, and put away. Okay, so let's talk through some of the features of the kitchen area, starting with the sink. This is a really big, round and deep sink. It also comes with this cover that doubles as a cutting board, and then you can put it back on the sink to cover it up and give you extra counter space to work with. There's a retractable faucet and a built-in spice rack. A little tip for fellow RVers, if you're looking to save on water while you're doing dishes, I love the Dawn dish spray. You can spray it on there, let it soak, and just wipe it off and you're using less water to clean all your dishes. We absolutely love this coffee pot. We've had the same one for five years because it's not glass, it's a metal carafe. And then you have power over here that pops up and you've got USB-A, USB-C, as well as 110 power. I also love this window in the kitchen because you can open this and you get a little bit of cross breeze and this actually gives you a lot of light during the day too. And there's also metal blinds here. There's another water pump switch right here below the sink and I love this copper backsplash and it accents nicely with the copper that's on the cabinets right here. And this cabinet in the kitchen is so big. So much so in fact that we added two tension rods just to keep everything in there, but we have a little shelf here and so we've got like all of our plates and coffee mugs, our bowls, our cups. This is like extra like water bottles and things like that. And then dog food, uh, spices, protein powder, I mean, it is a very big cabinet. <laughs> There's even more storage under the sink here. Winnebago provides this basket, and then there is a built-in water filter. We're using this area right now for like dog medicine, dog treats, all that good stuff. And on this side of the RV is the 10 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge. And there is so much space in here. This is the same one that we had when we were traveling in the Vista NPF. There are several shelves and two large drawers at the bottom. And the freezer is really large too. Plenty of room for food. And at the top, you'll find individual controls for both the refrigerator and the freezer, as well as night mode. Night mode is a great function that'll help you conserve power when you don't need to open the refrigerator overnight, thus helping you save on your batteries. And to the right of the fridge, you'll find two pantry compartments. This RV has adjustable shelving in each one, but we've been told by Winnebago that they're still configuring the final design, but regardless, this is where your pantry will be. And on this side of the kitchen, you have your cooktop, which has both induction and propane. And then you have a 30 inch over the range residential microwave convection oven combo with external ventilating system and lights. <laughs> And all of that sits on top of three very large kitchen drawers, which are illuminated and have soft clothes. But truthfully, I have really enjoyed cooking in this kitchen. In our Navion, sometimes the countertop becomes like a catch-all for things, or we end up putting like larger items on top of the cover, which goes over top of the gas range. But here, everything is just set up and ready to go. It's more of a designated cooking area. The other thing that I really love is the height of the microwave and convection oven. In the Navion, I have to like reach up to put things in or out, or if you have some of the newer models, it's pretty far down. Here, it's just eye level and it's super easy to get everything in and out. I'm 5'5 five five and it is a perfect height for me. And over on this side of the RV is our large dog bed. As you can see, it is oversized, it is very comfortable. It can easily fit three to four dogs. Who wouldn't want an oversized dog bed in their RV? Or this is the Hjort Knudsen powered recliner. It is absolutely incredible. This is a patent pending design. Winnebago is so confident in this, they literally filed for a patent on it. Um, it is extremely comfortable. This is a zero G style, almost full reclining powered recliner that as you can see also is a sofa and then can collapse forward and the queen size Murphy bed comes over top of it when it's time for bed. They say you should always let sleeping dogs lie, but this is show business. Come on guys, Piper, Ella, come on, can you get down? Yeah, come on guys, can you get down? So first off, this comes forward. You have two illuminated cup holders 
with USB. This, as I said, is a recliner, so there are buttons. The buttons are in between the cushions right here on the left-hand side. And as you can see, oh, bliss. Yeah, we love lounging here. It's perfect for watching TV with the JBL soundbar has great sound. This is actually a really enjoyable experience for watching TV or watching a movie. And on both sides of the couch is 110 AC power as well as USB-A and then again, USB-C quick charge, which let me tell you, does a phenomenal job charging like iPhones and Android phones. And then there are also these two included coffee tables, which insert into these holes right here on each side. Frequently when Caitlin is working at the flip up table, I'm usually over here and this is where I work from. It is very comfortable. I love the fact that I can recline it a little bit so I get a little bit of support just like that from my legs. And I'm just boop, boop, boop making money. <laughs> and in the surround that separates the cab from the living area, there are these little pouches and we put remotes in them because it's a really convenient spot for like the TV or from the sound bar. And you definitely won't get this in any other video. There is a secret compartment underneath this couch. <laughs> Down in the middle is a spot just big enough for us to put accessories for the vacuum cleaner. How about that? And because it's above the slide, it stays in place whether the slide is in or out. And many of you have asked about the bed and specifically how to make the bed, how comfortable is the bed, and we're gonna answer that for you right now. So to make the bed, all you have to do is lower down the backs of the couch Open these legs, these are the supporting legs for the bed. They lock into place. And then again, in the compartment that's to the right of the TV, open it up and it is the unlabeled button to the left of the slide. So you just push, this is up, this is down. And that's it, 30 seconds and the bed is down. As you can see, the bed is already made. All of our bedding is already in place. You are ready for sleep. And then in the bed area, there is a nice long window at the head of the bed, and there's one along the side of the bed as well. So lots of natural light. Above the bed are two large cabinets. Remember, these are only accessible when the bed is down, but they do connect with each other. So you have a very wide area that you can fit longer objects in. There's also two reading lights, and then there are ledges on both sides of the bed for, you know, small things. Caitlin puts her glasses, her book, her water all along the side there, and it's very convenient. And this is a walk around bed when the slide is out. And when the slide is in, you can still put the bed down. Many of you asked about this, and we're happy to show you now, you can in fact put the bed down with the slide completely in. This is a game changer in comparison to like the 24D, where our bed would come in contact with the refrigerator and that's not a good thing. So we're gonna show you right now what it looks like when the bed is down and the slide is in. And the process is the same. We're gonna extend these legs and then lower the backs of the couch and then bring the bed down. And obviously it is not a walk around when the slide is in, but you can still access everything, including the refrigerator, the bathroom, and even the kitchen. Having the bed down with a slide in is also really great if you're in transit or you're in a place where you can't extend the slide, you can still have your main bed down and be comfortable. And always remember that your parking brake must be set and the engine needs to be on before you can extend or bring the slide back in. We are big fans of the lighting in the 24T. There are tons of different lighting zones, which again are fully controllable either from the Winnebago Connect screen or from the companion mobile app from Winnebago. You can also set presets. So we have one for like kind of winding down, like when we're watching TV. We also have one that's like all lights on. So that way it's at its absolute brightest when we're like preparing a meal or something like that. And you have complete flexibility to set whatever presets you'd like. All right, let's talk about how we keep the dogs and ourselves comfortable. Standard on the 24T is a 15,000 BTU with heat pump air conditioner. Um, it is a standard GE air conditioner. We prefer to install a RVAC silencer um, due to the noise level of that. There is also an optional air conditioner, the Truma Aventa, which is a much quieter air conditioner, and you can get that, as I said, as an option. Regardless of which air conditioner you choose, both will be paired with a 25,000 BTU forced air furnace that is located underneath the refrigerator and has ducting that runs all the way into the gear garage. And a big change with the 24T is that everything can be powered from the batteries. Standard on the 24T is a 320 amp hour lithium battery from Lithionics, a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Xantrex, and a dedicated second alternator on the engine to keep the house batteries charged up. And there are three options regarding the generator. You can choose to completely delete the generator, 
you can have a LP generator or you can choose the brand new generator replacement option, which is 950 amp hours of lithium batteries paired with 480 watts of solar on the roof. Standard on the 24T is 240 watts, so that would double the amount of solar that you have. And regardless of the amount of solar, Standard is an MPP solar charge controller, so you're getting absolutely the best amount of solar energy from the panels. This particular 24T has the standard overcab bed, which is a queen size bed. We use it for larger, bulkier objects like this collapsible dog crate, but up there there's also independent lighting, AC power, DC power, and there's even ducted air conditioning up there. Speaking of the overcab, Winnebago is bringing back for the first time in five years the low profile option. Now this is kind of that more swooping triangular look to the front instead of having the queen size bed. The queen size bed is replaced with two cabinets that are connected between and it's a nice large area. The reason why it has the two cabinets is because even with the slide in, you can still open the right hand side without obstruction. So as you can imagine, you do save weight if you do not have the overcap and instead have the low profile. And speaking of that, the carrying capacity of this particular coach is 927 pounds. Now that's with the overcap. If you choose the low profile option, we are told by Winnebago that should save approximately 125 pounds, meaning you have now increased your carrying capacity by approximately 125 pounds. A reminder, this is a pilot pre-production vehicle, so this is not the final weight of the 24T. Winnebago has identified and is actively developing more options and weight savings in order to continue to increase the carrying capacity of the 24T. And for the way that we travel, we would likely choose options which would increase the carrying capacity. For example, we rarely have people staying overnight, and so we would probably not need a queen size bed up here. So we would go for low profile because that would result in an extra 125 pounds that we could carry, say, in the gear garage. And again, they never advise to move a sleeping dog, but Piper, can you get down? Get down, please. Who wants belly rub? Come on, I know, I know. Yes, our dogs pretty much rule the house. Just like our Navion, this has the swivel seats in the front, so both of these can spin around. Uh, so therefore, you can actually have comfortably six or even seven people seated around this area, which is a lot of people for an RV that's only 25 and a half feet long. Speaking of the front cab, Winnebago has moved to these new design for the window covers. They are insulated, they fold down if you have dogs that like to look out the window, but you still like to have a little bit of privacy, and they are magnetic, so they tend to fit a little bit better than the older style. And we'll have a link in the description that outlines all of the new features on the 2023 and 2024 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. But I'd like to point out this right here. This is the brand new digital rear view mirror. Folks, we once again can look out the back of the RV 24 seven while we're driving. This is a great safety feature and I'm really glad to see it in the RV. Winnebago has returned to a design that's similar to the pre-2020 doors of the View Navion models. This is an in-house built insulated door with a large window and has a separate screen door. And with Winnebago Connect, you can lock or unlock just this door from your phone. So, what did we miss? If you have any other questions that we didn't necessarily answer in this video, just drop them in the comments and we'll try to get to as many as we can. We have truly loved getting to test out and live in the brand new 24T. Yeah, and this is just the first of several new floor plans that we're trying this year as we figure out what our next home on wheels will be. Well, thanks so much for watching. See ya.